Congressman Parnell, do you have anything to say about Professor Spencer's recent allegations regarding your son, Theo? I have nothing further to add. As I stated in my press release, these allegations are completely unfounded. Professor Spencer shared his car's data logs with us this morning, which suggests that the software indeed was tampered with. It corroborates a story. Which has nothing to do with my son. Now, if you'll excuse me. Four months ago, your son posted hacking tutorials online, several of which featured similar car systems being cracked. Videos that have since been removed. Look, I know my son. He's a smart, clever boy. He likes to pick things apart to see how they work. But he's a respectful, honorable, and kind young man. Have you seen the video Theo posted of the accident? I am confident that he will be fully exonerated. Thank you. Attention all agents. This is an emergency alert. The division is compromised. You have been led to believe that you serve a noble cause. That you are empowered to do whatever it takes to save what remains. But you don't know the whole story. You don't know who's pulling the strings and giving the orders. The truth is that you are all unknowingly serving a shadowy group of profiteers. A group that doesn't want to restore democracy and freedom, but create a fascist plutocracy that only benefits themselves. The Division is nothing but a tool to serve their agenda. The Division does not serve the state. It does not serve the people. Look at the data. Don't take my word for it. Look for yourselves. You'll see I'm telling the truth. You hacked your teacher's car? It's not like that. What the fuck did you do, Theo? I just tried to access the door locks. I messed up and accidentally put it into gear. It's not my fault he parked by a lake. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why the hell would you do something like this? Midterm grades were just posted, and there's no way I'm fourth in the class. So you break into your teacher's car? I saw the term paper sitting on his back seat. I thought if I read him, I could prove he was marking me down because he doesn't like me. You think this teacher's got it out for you? I think someone bought him off. There's no way I'm fourth. So, I used my phone to hack his car and get the proof I needed. Jesus Christ, Theo. I'm calling your psychiatrist. How can you believe that horse shit? You really think Dad had a heart attack? I really think that's what the doctor said. He never smoked. He ran 10 miles a day, ate clean. He was a fucking vegan. Just because he was vegan doesn't mean he was healthy. French fries are vegan. You know Dad was trying to impeach President Waller for campaign finance violations. Don't start this shit again, Theo. Then his autopsy report goes missing. Theo. Harry, they fucking cremated him. They destroyed evidence. You ever hear of Digitalis? Foxglove? It can stop your heart, and without that report, there's no way to know if they even tested for it. You know he had enemies, all right? Senator Kensington had it out for him. You know she ruined his presidential bid. Harry? Harry? Did you hang up on me? I still can't pin anything directly to Kensington. She was out of D.C. when it happened, and I don't have any records of meetings or calls with anyone who could carry out a hit. She's smart. Probably knew I would look at her first. I need to find another angle. Even if they use burner phones and have staffers scrubbing their data, there's no way they can completely cover their tracks. Eventually, they'll expose themselves, and I'll be ready. I know Kensington had my dad killed to protect Waller. I know why, I know how, I just can't prove it. Yet. You figure out what happened to your dad? No. Isaac has access to every database known to the U.S. government. I'm still getting stonewalled. Isaac's got restrictions. Clearance levels that you can't access. There's still plenty of the powers that be don't want you to know. Like what really happened? To the first wave? Yeah. Everything's a rumor, but... We've got cameras and mics everywhere. It shouldn't be this hard to find out the truth. It's only hard when they want it to be hard. So it's true. They left you to die? Cut their losses because we're expendable? Yeah, that's the fine print on the contract. We are the last line of defense when the shit hits the fan. But really, they're just using us to shield them from the shit. <sighs> I wish I knew who they are. Well, they're easy to spot. Just look for who's still clean. Who still has resources that they shouldn't have. You think the same people behind my dad's death are responsible for the first wave? I wouldn't be surprised. Everyone has secrets, Theo. And the kind of people who can keep what happens to your dad's secret have friends in high places. But if you really want to know what happened, I can help you. I got friends in higher places. How's the hunt going? 
You got any new leads for my intel? You were right. There's so much shit to uncover. Did you know that Mendez didn't commit suicide? Oh, yeah. And that's clearly a hit. You think the same people are responsible for my dad? That's possible. Your dad and Ellis never really saw eye to eye. He wasn't the kind of man you could easily control or manipulate. Unlike Ellis. I didn't think Ellis had that much power. Well, he's president now. He's always been ambitious. Wouldn't surprise me if he felt threatened by your dad, worried about him taking speaker in the next election cycle if the majority turned. Yeah, that makes sense. Theo, if you're not too busy, I could use your help with something. Sure. What do you need? Do you think you'll be able to hack and reprogram an encrypted guidance system? Well, I can try. You know I love a challenge. Any updates for me, Theo? The system's a mess. I got into the code base easy enough thanks to Isaac, but it's gonna take a little longer until I can build a control interface. How much longer? Ideally, I'd need a week. We don't have a week. Okay, uh, I could probably cut that down to five days. Keep at it. Give me an update tomorrow. We also have an issue with remote access. With most cell towers out of commission, we have to rely on satellites, and well, those systems aren't really being maintained. What do you need? A command center. Somewhere remote. Hard to get to would be ideal. Abandoned would be best. I got a place. Give me the specs and I'll set you up. Keener, come in. This is Keener. What are we looking at, Theo? Two guards on regular rotations. Six-hour shifts. They're JTF, not agents. Should be easy enough to handle. Perimeter? Roaming patrols every hour. Four to six-man squads. Again, shouldn't be a problem. And the building? Isaac had the schematics for the building. I've mapped out a clear path to where Conley should plant the payload to do maximum damage to the building's infrastructure. Great work, Theo. I don't know what I'd do without you. Dragoff sent you? Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Theo. Judge. So, where's the executioner? Dragoff said you needed protection. I don't need protection. <laughs> okay. Look, I know you don't want us here. Stomping all over your precious whatever the fuck this shit is. Don't worry about it. But here's the deal. That red ring puts a target on your back. And Dragoff doesn't want anyone to kill you prematurely. Huh. That's very thoughtful of him. So we'll stick around until Dragoff tells us to leave. Honestly, I don't give a shit. One way or the other. I'm just hoping some division fuckhead will try to kill you so I can get another trophy. Right. Well, that's... That's cool. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna... I'll just be... You know, I'll be upstairs. 